Run, Forrest, run! I'm coming home Tell the world I'm coming home Let the rain wash away All the pain of yesterday I know my kingdom awaits And they've forgiven me You know, I talk about uh, finding your life purpose. You want to find yourself in the activities that, uh, or the talents that you were given. Many people stray from this. They're given a talent, they're given something, but they don't use it. They sell themselves to a machine. They put their best into someone else's greed. We take uh, a lot of things for granted in this world. We take food, water. Nine to five, a lot of people work nine to five. And the best thing that they could think of at the end of the week is they get drunk, they get hammered. What is that doing for anybody? Is that fulfilling life purpose? Great inspiration, Yuki Kawuchi fulfills his life purpose. They call him the citizen's runner because he runs for everyone else. He don't give a crap about anything else but what his life purpose is. And I'm out here today fulfilling my life purpose and I want to inspire you fulfill your life purpose. When you learn to hurt, learn to be independent, you're gonna find something great about yourself. And I found it in the trails. And my life purpose was to run, to run for someone else. Not to work for a machine, and not to sit in an office, not to sit in a cubicle. Mind fog you get when you sell your soul to the devil, when you sell your soul to your machine. Money, what is money? If money were no object, what would you do with your life then? What do you want to do? You want to be a painter? Do you want to be an artist? If money were no object, I would say, go do those things, but forget the money. Live your life purpose, live fully now. But the more you give to someone else, the more you're going to be rewarded in the future. You can be rewarded in health. I'm doing work for this building and they think they could pay me four dollars an hour for construction work because I'm Italian or I'm an immigrant. I'm also American too. A lot of uh, Americans get treated like this. I'm doing a job trying to come to play with the people. I say, um, okay, I'll do this job, but uh, the pay, it's going to be, you know, three, four thousand dollars. They say, oh, we can't pay you that much, you know. So I, I say, okay, we'll work a deal out or something. It comes down to me barely making any money. And the people, they came home at 1 a.m. in the morning are just cleaning up from work. And I over here, oh, I must have spent $300 on drinks. Oh, man, I'm so hammered. And I'm like, you completely... Wasted your money, wasted your time and energy, wasted your work, got drunk, and didn't think about the person who is actually building your house. Okay, if that's what you want to do, is how is that fulfilling anything, your deed in life, your life purpose? My life purpose was to inspire others, work for others. I may not have made that much money for that job, but I'm a hell of a lot stronger. That kind of work builds character, and it's always been, I think for maybe 15 years I've been doing it. <laughs> Everything you do in life must have a purpose. What you bring to hand must have a purpose. Why are you doing this? You wake up one morning and say, why am I doing this wrong? Or are you going to work? Why am I going to work? Is there a purpose behind it? When you're just living life for money, it doesn't seem, at least to me, feel like a purpose if you're just gonna use that money and get hammered. There are a lot of homeless people on the street. There are a lot of people that need help. For people hurting themselves for no good reason, how is that fulfilling anything you do in life, your life purpose, how is that? helping you out? How is that helping someone else out? I would say quit your job. I would say you need to find yourself. You need to go out into the freaking woods and meditate. You need to get away. This bad energy spreads between each people. You get a group of people not doing what they're supposed to be. And the people who join that group, they don't do what they're supposed to do. And then you join that group and then you get sidetracked. You get distracted. You don't have that focus. You lose what the reason why you're doing this. You lose that. And our faults as human beings is that we're social creatures. We're along to adapt to each other. And I think once you learn to be independent, independence is what's gonna make you that leader. What I'm here, I wanna be that leader. I wanna have people follow to teach them to become leaders as well, just through YouTube, just do what I do. Because of course, there's nobody just here every day. It's like, where is everybody? It's just me, doing what I gotta do, training for the USA Half Marathon Championship. And that's it. I woke up today and said, what is the purpose of this run? The purpose was to get into shape, or the purpose was to recover from a hard workout. The purpose was to meditate, right? This run was the second run, really slow Kenyan style, nine minute per mile. 
It's to recover and meditate. That's the purpose of this run. That's why I'm out here. What's the purpose of me being on YouTube? The purpose of me being on YouTube is to tell what I'm about to give something to someone else. Have that person who's watching through this camera, through this video, to find themselves and bring themselves out to the world too. Take what I teach and spread it around. Be original with it. Be yourself. There's nothing greater than in this world than being yourself. I don't know what to say, I don't, I don't know what he's thinking, but um, somewhere I would say within 5K or maybe 10, somebody is going to hand this gentleman a piano to carry. Um, Kawachi, 31. Yuki Kawauchi is the 2018 Boston Marathon champion. Talk about unlikely.